What's going on everyone? I'm Tao and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up RGB on Arch Linux. So your RGB devices like your keyboard, your mouse, your mouse pad even, and any RGB devices you have in your PC like RAM, motherboard, CPU core, fans, etc can work properly otherwise they'll probably just do a random rainbow thing sometimes the ram somehow retains its state and does the color that you set from windows but anyways normally it doesn't work so today i'm going to show you how to make that happen but first i'll need you to smash that like button for the youtube algorithm so that way i can know that you like this video let's get into it <laughs> So the first thing we're going to want to do is open up our terminal. Now I will remind you this is on Arch Linux, so that is a point to be noted. We'll go ahead and run Trizen, which is my AUR package manager, dash s open razor dash meta. This is the driver package for Razer RGB open source drivers for the Razer devices like the Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard, Goliathus, extended mouse pad, etc. You can just enter through all of these prompts. And you can see the little command right there. You have to do everything with. It enters in everything, builds the package. And then once it's done, it'll ask you to install. And it gives you four options. So if you press enter at that prompt, it'll automatically install all four of them for you instead of selecting a number. So go ahead and install this right now. Press Y. And we'll let everything run. As you can see, it's doing some stuff with DKMS, which I will cover in just a second. All right, now that that's done, we'll do Trizen s polychromatic. This installs a GUI version of the open Razer driver, so that way you'll be able to interact with your RGB devices on a GUI level. Now you don't have to install this because we're gonna install another GUI client later, but you can if you want to. So again, you can just step through all of this, and as you see, it's building everything. Now I've already installed this as well, so I'll just exit it. And then we have Trizen dash s open rgb this is a rgb interface that is compatible with not only the razor devices but also some of the other devices that you might have in your computer like your corsair stuff on the inside of our computer i could just control to see this because i've already installed this as well the next thing you're going to need to do to get all this to work is do sudo mod probe i2c dash dev when you run, it does a producing output. We'll do sudo mod probe i2c pix4. So now, once we have this installed, we'll just open up open RGB. And if you don't see your Razer devices here, which I didn't when I first did this, then you'll want to do sudo pacman syu linux headers. Running this installs the headers for Linux header modules rather which will allow the open razor daemon to see everything and be like okay there is there there's where everything's at then we'll do slash ls slash user slash source and you can do sudo dkms install open razor dash driver slash 2.9.0 and as you can see it's already installed because it installed when we reinstalled it this time normally if you did everything in this order and you didn't have Linux headers already installed, then that wouldn't be the case and you would have to manually go back and do this. But in this case, I already had Linux headers installed, so everything works fine. Now you can go over here to your open RGB. And as you can see, I can control my GPU, my USB, my Huntsman Razor Elite. So I can just set any color, my favorite color really that I have set here is 255-850. I'll do apply color to the whole device and then set all devices. We can also do this with our other devices like this. 
but as you can see we've already have them done like that so everything should be good if you want to use the razor polychromatic client you can go and do polychromatic and select the old controller part as you can see I have pre-done profiles for all of these so everything works just the way I want it to so that's pretty much all for today's video if you enjoyed this video or this helped you out at all make sure to hit the like button and click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos just like this i'm tao and i'll see you in the next video